In hash-based cryptography, the Merkle signature scheme is a digital signature scheme based on hash trees also called Merkle trees and one-time signatures such as the Lamport signature scheme. It was developed by Ralph Merkle in the late 1970s and is an alternative to traditional digital signatures such as the Digital Signature Algorithm or RSA. The advantage of the Merkle signature scheme is that it is believed to be resistant against quantum computer algorithms. The traditional public key algorithms, such as RSA and Elgamal would become insecure in case an effective quantum computer can be built due to Shor's algorithm. The Merkle signature scheme however only depends on the existence of secure hash functions. This makes the Merkle signature scheme very adjustable and resistant to quantum computing. Note that Merkle signature is a one time signature with finite signing potential. The work of Moni Naor and Moti Young on signature based on one way permutations and functions and the invention of universal one way hash function give a way to extend a Merkle like signature to a complete signature scheme. Key generation The Merkle signature scheme can be used to sign a limited number of messages with one public key pub display style text pub The number of possible messages must be a power of 2 so we denote the possible number of messages as n equals 2 n display style n equals 2 caret n the first step of generating the public key pub display style text pub is to generate n display style n private public key pairs x i y i display style x underscore i y underscore i of some one-time signature scheme such as the Lamport signature scheme. For each 1 i 2 n displaystyle 1 leq i leq 2 caret n a hash value of the public key h i equals h Y I display style H underscore I equals H Y underscore I is computed. With these hash values, H I display style H underscore I a hash tree is built by placing these two n display style 2 caret n hash values as leaves and recursively hashing to form a binary tree let a i j display style underscore i j denote the node in the tree with height i display style i and left right position J display style J then the hash values H I equals a 0 I display style H underscore I equals a underscore 0 I are the leaves the value for each inner node of the tree is the hash of the concatenation of its two children. For example, a 1 0 equals h a 0 0 a 0 1 Display style are underscore one zero equals H A underscore zero zero are underscore zero one and a 
2 0 equals h a 1 0 a 1 1 Display style underscore two zero equals H A underscore one zero A underscore one one. In this way, a tree with two N Display style two carrot N leaves and two N plus one minus one Display style two carat n plus one minus one nodes is built. The private key of the Merkle signature scheme is the entire set of x i y i display style x underscore i y underscore i pairs. One of the major problems with the scheme is that the size of the private key scales linearly with the number of messages to be sent. The public key pub display style text pub is the root of the tree a n 0 display style underscore n 0 the individual public keys Y I display style Y underscore I can be made public without breaking security. However, as they are not needed in the public key, it is more practical to keep them secret to minimize its size. Topic: <laughs> Signature generation. To sign a message M display style M with the Merkle signature scheme, the signer picks a key pair X I Y I display style X underscore I Y underscore I signs using the one-time signature scheme, and then adds additional information to prove that it was indeed one of the original key pairs, rather than one newly generated by a forger. First, the signer chooses a x i y i display style x underscore i y underscore i pair which had not previously been used to sign any other message, and uses the one-time signature scheme to sign the message, resulting in a signature sig and corresponding public key y i to prove to the message verifier that x I Y I display style X underscore I Y underscore I was in fact one of the original key pairs. The signer simply includes intermediate nodes of the Merkle tree so that the verifier can verify H I equals a zero I Display style h underscore i equals a underscore zero i was used to compute the public key a n zero display style underscore n zero at the root of the tree. The path in the hash tree from a zero i Display style underscore zero i to the root b n plus one display style n plus one nodes call them a zero a n 
Display style are underscore zero L dots are underscore N with a zero equals a zero I equals H Y I Display style are underscore zero equals a underscore zero I equals H Y underscore I being a leaf and A N equals A N zero equals pub Display style are underscore N equals a underscore N zero equals text pub being the root. We know that A I Display style are underscore I is a child of A I plus one Display style are underscore I plus one. To let the verifier calculate the next node A I plus one Display style are underscore I plus one. Given the previous, they need to know the other child of A I plus one display style or underscore I plus one the sibling node of a I display style or underscore I we call this node auth I display style text auth underscore I so that a I plus one equals H A I Auth I Display style or underscore I plus one equals H A underscore I text auth underscore I Hence N Display style N nodes Auth Zero Auth N minus one Display style text auth underscore zero L dots text auth underscore N one are needed to reconstruct A N equals A N zero equals pub display style or underscore n equals or underscore n zero equals text pub from a zero equals a zero i display style or underscore zero equals or underscore zero i an example of an authentication path is illustrated in the figure on the right. These nodes auth 0 auth n minus 1 display style text auth underscore 0 l dots text auth underscore n1 the y I display style y underscore I and the one time signature sig display style text sig together constitute a signature of M display style M using the Merkle signature scheme sig equals sig Y I Auth zero Auth one Auth N 
minus one. Display style text sig equals text sig y underscore i text auth underscore zero text auth underscore one l dots text auth underscore n one. Note that when using Lamport's signature scheme for signing, the sig display style text sig contains a part of the private key x i display style x underscore i topic signature verification the receiver knows the public key pub display style text pub the message m display style m and the signature sig equals sig y i auth 0 auth 1 auth n minus 1 Display style text sig equals text sig y underscore i text auth underscore zero text auth underscore one l dots text auth underscore n one. First, the receiver verifies the one-time signature sig. Display style text sig of the message m. Display style m. Using the one-time signature public key y i display style y underscore i. If sig display style text sig is a valid signature of m display style m, the receiver computes a zero equals H Y I display style underscore zero equals H Y underscore I by hashing the public key of the one time signature for J equals one N minus one Display style J equals one L dots N one The nodes of A J Display style are underscore J of the path are computed with A J equals H A J minus one Auth J minus one Display style or underscore J equals H A underscore J one text auth underscore J one If A N Display style or underscore N equals the public key pub Display style text pub of the Merkel signature scheme. The signature is valid. <laughs> 